Good evening, folks. You're very welcome to the Stephen Leeson Show, which is live at the Scientology Community Centre here in Dublin. And tonight, our guests are Green Road, and this is a five-piece band from County Wexford, uh, created and inspiration journey with a mix of Irish trad, bluegrass, and Americano music. These guys are packing theatres across Ireland. They play to a full house at the Wexford Opera House. Uh, their Kilkenny Watergate theatre concerts were sold out within minutes of going on sale. What achievements. Need I say more? Folks, here is Green Road. Thank you, Stephen. Good evening to you all. <coughs> Delighted to be here. I'm going to start off with a song to sing, one called Farewell to Carlingford. Hope you're all keeping well. We're going to do a song this time. Written by the great Phil Coulter. One called the town I love so well.
Okay, we're going to do a song this time. The late great Luke Kelly, one of my favorites. One called the Night Visiting Song. <clears throat> so grab an old can of Guinness or a Jemison or whatever you want and sit back and sing along with us. All right, Tony. That's loud, Danny. Especially the Jemison. Give Jemison a big plug there now, so. I must away now. I can no longer tarry. This morning's time passed. I have to cross. I must be guided without a stumble into the arms I love most. 
There we go, green road. Um, I feel like I'm at home. I'm just missing the Guinness and the Jemison, <laughs> like PJ says. But uh, great to have the lads on stage and from all different musical backgrounds. And I'm going to try and get a bit of an insight and find out more about their music, how the band is created, and everything, everything that I possibly can find out about them. And I'm joined here for two lads to be interviewed. And my good friend that I know many years, <laughs> Tony, you're very welcome. Thank PJ, you. you're very welcome. Thank you very Thank much you. For, for coming on the show. Um, great sound, lads. Jeez, I, like I've, I've, I've obviously heard you, Tony, and I've, I've heard you. I met you once, PJ, at, at a gig in, in, in a campsite down, down in Wexford. John Roach is down in John, mind, yeah, John and Margaret, yeah, yeah. great friends of mine. But uh, since then, uh, Tony was, because Tony was playing with me just out of coincidence at that particular gig as well. Tony happened to be there as well. And then he was telling me more about Green Road and this, I'm joining this new band and this is PJ. And so I was looking, he was up and finding out everything about it. But I love the sound. It's absolutely, as I say, yeah. I do feel like at home, like, you know? Yeah, uh, great, great, sound, creation. yeah. Great, great combination. Great combination. Great combination. You know? It all blends well, all the different mm -hmm. instruments. Like, you know, you can see there's, uh, uh, Tony was saying different backgrounds. That's what he said. He said to make sure I mentioned that because these are from different, like Riverdance, someone mentioned, or Tony mentioned. And yeah, like, yeah. Give, us a, give us a bit of an insight about the band. Only keep that microphone jam out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> well, indeed. Well, as I say, I, I'm only recently with the band, um, well, a few months, you know, and I was only too delighted. It was through a mutual friend of ours, an extremely come from an extremely talented family called the Davids. And uh, one of the David brothers, Joe David, um, is a friend also of PJ's and um, yeah. made right. the introduction there cool, to mate. me. But regarding the rest of the guys, PJ can give you more of a... Yeah, um, Fergal and uh, 
Good hair, he's from Tim Barntown. Uh, just unbelievable guitar player, like, you know. And I would have never known Fergal up to about three, four years ago. Yeah. Like, and then Ned on the pipes. Um, Lovely style of playing the guitar. Just though, unbelievable. Well, unbelievable. The harmonies coming in. Yeah, well, yeah, just Ned can do anything, really, you know. Bluegrass, <laughs> you oh, name it, on okay, the pipes, yeah. he can do anything, you know. And then just looking up to meet John, John Revel. Uh, actually, a relation of mine and John. So we um, then met Tony and uh, just got together and just just gelled, you know, just it's unbelievable sound and we all love a bit of bluegrass, rock and roll, ballads especially, you know, so like ballads, and, ballads and folk, like, yeah. It's right up my street, I have to say yeah. that, And I suppose just putting the band together, like, it was hard. Uh, I was just going to say, to keep a five-piece band together is, is going to have its difficulties anyway, like, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, Ned will be off the contrary now, so we have to, <laughs> we have to, keep, Ned, we have to keep Ned right. <laughs> I was surprised that you're actually bringing this fella to be interviewed as well. Like, he's probably the most contrary at all. Well, I have to get to know, I have to get to know Tony first. Like, you know, but um, yeah, so then the pandemic hit and it was just unbelievable to keep it. You know, the music industry was hit right across the board and I suppose it was hit the hardest, you know. Yeah. And so we just said we keep it going, keep practicing. And then we just gelled together. And as you said, uh, we started off two months ago. We sold out the Opera House in Mexford, St. Michael's Theatre in New Ross. And now How do you go about even doing that? Just out of interest, like, you know, to, well, to get them. Like, there's a lot involved, like getting promotion, like the, the, the whole build up. You tell me, like, you know. Well, that's what we're. And why didn't I get me invite? I asked you to invite me. You never did, by the way. Yeah, I like. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet you in uh, Tiernan Og or Powers Bar or Malay's Bar or no, Fitter or something. We'll have a drink. <laughs> but uh, no, I just give the Opera House a buzz one time, and, and uh, she said, "Yeah, we'll." put us in and eventually we just put up ourselves like you know we're actually looking to be promoted now to be honest which is well if someone can pick us up and carry us to the next level it'll be more yeah more down our line you know so like then we St. Michael's Theatre was on to us then and um, it's just the word of mouth on Facebook as well the power of Facebook just put it up and it was sold out for minutes and I'm surprised with the Kilkenny gig because we're not really known up there yet you know so, um, and they approached you in Kilkenny, is that what you said, the Watergate Theatre? No, Tony got in contact there. Your... See, we're kind of trying to do it ourselves, you know, which is hard work too. So, uh, Tony contacted them. And, yeah, um, yeah, I didn't need a contact. At, um, well, it was through a request that PJ said, Do you want to have you any sort of a contact over there? And as you know, Kilkenny's full of great musicians like yeah. you. Know, so, I asked for a bit of help. You play there, there regularly, anyway. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. For years upon years, I've been playing there, you know, and uh, a great city, fantastic. But no, they accommodated us, and to our surprise, as we said, uh, but then the tickets were gone like that. It's a sold out show, so they were actually looking for a second night as well. Um, so it's accommodating that at the minute. But uh, the, the boys have massive, there's massive plans there in the future, like for different recordings and, and different onsets regarding theatres. Um, all around the country that's as, as PJ said that's the general idea it's great to see you doing it in such a short space of time would you say together three years four years or whatever it is three, you know? three and a half yeah. year nearly now so um, and just be able to put the, through the pandemic and then be able to take that step yeah. to, to get yeah. there like you know well, I suppose it's just we kept it practicing going and kept it going like you know so eventually when it did open up a bit we were ready just to to go like you know so if you were get over the nerves now, it wouldn't be too bad. Like, you know. What were you doing yourself before the band? Were you playing a different band? Uh, yeah. yeah, well, I would have played in a pub band which called The Rogues. Now, not named after myself, but named after the other two lads, like so. <laughs> Alan Dwyer and uh, Shamey Davitt. And then Ned joined us, so we just said, look, if we try to take it this next level and work commitments with some lads, they just couldn't do it, so we just got this band together then we drove on you know uh, you, you've plenty of musical background in Tony isn't it? oh stop <laughs> you're flying out of me the and whole family huh? the whole family yeah uh, trying my best uh, well they're all flying at it now you know Finn is flying on the banjo Roshin's flying on the concertina and sure Carmel she keeps the whole thing flying you know yeah yeah, so it's it's all good. You couldn't walk through the front door, you'd be tripping over instruments, you know. <laughs> it's is, the way to have them, because great, if they yeah. trip over it, they'll lift it. They won't throw it out of the way. They might play a tune out of it and then throw it out of the way, but at least, you know. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. I notice as well, there's not many bands that you see, with number one, with the five string. Like, you know, I don't see many bands, like the ballad groups or that with the five strings anymore, like, you know, whereas you used to years ago. The same with the pipes. You don't see many pipers with, with ballad groups anymore, like, you know, which is, it's a yeah. great asset to have, like, you know. Well, the main objective was just to, like I'm a massive Luke Kelly fan myself and Dublers and Dublin City Ramblers and Furies and 
plan season, all the foot, hours, yeah. that put the ballad scene from Ireland on the map in the world, like, you know, so I would have just loved, I grew up listening to Luke Kelly, like, so I just wanted to put a band together that can just keep that tradition going, you know, and there's plenty of good bands out there as well, added at the minute, so I need the room for us all, so. Take it on. What's the next step? Where is where he's going? Have you released an album yet? Have you going to release an album? No, he's we're in the process now of putting one together and, you know, just put the foundations for the band first and then get into a studio for a couple of months and there we Tony. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you see it's 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 you just mentioned there, you mentioned some great bands there, the likes of the Dublin City Ramblers, um, the Dubliners, the, like for example, it doesn't matter what band you mentioned, some, you're automatically going to think of one singer, like you mentioned the Dublin City Ramblers, I seriously, I just think of Patsy Watchorn, um, the Dubliners, Luke Kelly, you know, yeah. and even the Wolf Tones, Tommy, Tommy Byrne, like, you know, Tone, it's yeah. all about a unique voice, and I think the package that I've played with ballad bands before, like yourself, Stephen, we have a great experience with, it, and the, the general setup, as you said, is strange, but the, especially with the pipes, you know. It's great to have the pipes yeah. in the band. Yeah. Like, you know, but if you look at these guys and listen to the individuals there, the, the talent they have, like Fergal on guitar is just unbelievable. Say. Yeah. He, you know, he's extreme on the guitar, you know? And the same as Young John there, like, you know, the talent. And, that, and the, the, the mandolin, like, just to... Yeah, yeah. And then, you see, it's okay. I, my passion has always been to play bass guitar and I'm getting the opportunity to do that. But you stick a man in the middle of it with a vocal like that, a unique voice. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's just something... I, that's what I say. I do think it's have something... Like to, to have a bass guitar and as I say the, the traditional instruments in it there's a lot of the time I find when, it, when you've got your kind of separation between ballads and traditional music a lot of the time you find a mandolin player that's only into traditional music and not into the ballads or vice versa like you know the same with a piper or whistle player like you know vice versa like it's, 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 it's a great blend to get that into a yeah, band like you know uh, yeah. not easy to find like you know when you combine it's just unique then like you know yeah. it's just, and you know when something fits and you know when something is right like you know so Lads, I want to hear more from you. Yeah, <laughs> and I want the invite to the next one, when the gigs, the next gig that's coming up, like, you know? That'll do, yeah, that's <laughs> an open invitation, yeah. If, if people want to follow you, you're on Facebook, as you said, so is it Instagram as well? Or Facebook, just you, have you got Instagram, a website? Or? Uh, Facebook and Instagram, and, as a Fergal? Green Road? Yes, yeah, so just, it's down at the moment, Green Road, it? Facebook. Yeah, from, from Instagram, from yeah. yeah. Green Road, Facebook, I'm not, Technology minded now, right? So just go on and green. You need a young lad in the band to do that, you know. Yeah, that's I'm the, the same, best. Yeah. same as himself. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, will you join us for once, Steve? I'd love to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come yeah. on yeah. for the crack, here, Listen, lads, go on back on. I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. Thanks very much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank, thanks Thank very you. much for coming along. Thank you, lads. Appreciate it. Okay, so that's uh, Tony and PJ. Unfortunately, there's five in the band. I'd love to get an interview with each and every one of them, but uh, maybe next time when I have them on, the lads are going to sing a few songs for them, and then they've invited me on stage with them, so I'm looking forward to, to join and sing a song with them. But uh, thanks very much, uh, Green Road. I'll hand you back to Green Road. Here we go. Okay, the next song we're going to do for you, I'm going to hand you over to Fergal here. He's going to take the helm for a while. Okay, uh, the song I'm going to do you now is one... Uh you probably all know from Sharon Shannon did years ago with a guy called Desi O'Halloran. It's one called Say You Love Me. But uh, I, I always like to do this in the style of uh, my great guitar hero who passed away there last year, Tony Rice. Great bluegrass guitarist. So.
I waited for you to sing in the wind. Okay, our next song is a great song, one called uh, Only Our Rivers Run Free. Um, sing along with us again if you're still out there. Hope you all are. Sunshine and flower 
And we're lonely, our rivers run free And we're lonely, our rivers run free Great song, one of my favorites, Only a Rivers Run Free. Okay, we're gonna do another song for you this time. One called Sam Hall. Again, we're delighted to be here today. So um, I hope you're all enjoying as much as we are. So sing along with us again. Friends must part, so must I. 
Okay, for the last song for tonight, we're going to welcome Stephen Leeson back onto the stage. Great friend of ours now. Come on, Stephen. Come on, Stephen. Thank you. <laughs> Had a great evening. Thanks very much, Stephen. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a privilege to be on the stage with six of us on the stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could be the new format, maybe. <laughs> we're going to do a song for you this time. One called Last Thing on My Mind. Written by the late uh, Tom Paxton. It's a lesson to lay for the learning Made a sound, made a sound In the wink of an eye my soul is turning In your hand, in your hand What about a green road? Lads, thank you very much, each and every one of you, for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure to be on the stage, which is well. Folks, tune in, same time, same place, next week's 7 o'clock. See you then. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>